dog park with mine. <laughs> Look at mine, it's friends. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Mine's gonna pee. <laughs> I know. Look at that little guy. Oh, now mine's tipping that poop. <laughs> He's a little silly guy. And look. That's good. There's some dogs down there. Yeah, we haven't ridden mine here in quite a while, so we thought we'd bring her back. It's pretty big, pretty nice little spot to bring mine. Oh yeah, look at that guy coming. Oh, he's coming. They're coming all right. Let's see if mine will come. Mine come. Catrino. She didn't, she doesn't want to come in here. Oh, look at mine. So nice. There goes mine. Now she's going to go investigate. Now, what is that old mine doing? There's this guy. Why, you found a ball. Found a ball, mine? Good, see? Good. Want to go catch it? I'll throw it. Okay? Let's go. There she goes. Whoa, that's a big hole right there. Quite the digger. That little dog's gone. Look at that. Oh no. <laughs> what is mine doing? The dog's leaving. Good old man. Look at that silly old dog. He's having a fun time here. Oh yeah. I think that was coming, but I guess not. That old queer. Get out of here, you. Whoa. What's that all about? I hope that wasn't you that dug that man. <laughs> ah, did you really have to poop? Ooh, pretty gross, man. Go play with your friends now. Oh my. That was fun, huh? Pretty cold day today, but I hear some birds chirping. I just want to bring y'all out here. Today, when I'm filming this, not sure when it'll go out, but when I'm filming this, it's March 27th. Just put on episode one of Critter Case Files, the extended edition. And look at that. We got quite a bit of little sprouts coming up all throughout the yard here. Looks pretty cool. Now this, this is just one of those red lilies. They don't last all that long with the flowers, but the the green sprouts, that'll be here for a long time. You don't cut those down until late in the year. Our blue spruce, looks like it's starting to come back. Butterfly bushes, they're a little bit later, I think. All the hydrangeas always, they're always later in the year until they actually start blooming. Look at my, there's a lot over there behind the shed. I wanna show you all for now. Check if anything else is coming up here. Maybe a little in there, not really though. Definitely want to get rid of this one this year and put it somewhere else because it just doesn't like it there clearly. It never flowers very nicely. So that's a nice white one, but it just never flowers. So I'm thinking maybe it needs to shade. I'm not sure. Well, that's one of those red ones again. It's coming up. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. Quite a bit of green in there. That's one of those yellow plants. I forget exactly what it's called. I just have a hard time remembering the names. 
Look at that, it's a good sign, all the red coming through. Oh, I like hydrangea. I had a bad year last year, though. A lot of drought. I tried to give it enough water, but... Or no, actually, I'm forgetting what happened. I gave it way too much water at the beginning of the year. That's what happened, yeah. And then I think it, the drought just kind of hurt it, I think. I'm kind of forgetting. That's definitely dead. I don't think that's coming up. I moved that two years ago. A lot of red in there, too, in this little plant. Never comes up as nice as it should, though. Definitely going to give these another touch up with the paint. And, man, not too much going on over here. A couple of little sprouts. Those ones are pretty small, though. Hydrangeas are taking their time, as usual. I find my other sheets. A lot of little, tiny little things coming up in here. But nothing too much. Just a couple of the irises are starting to come. Last year, I moved a lot of those irises. I spread them around instead of just having, like, just one or two. Now we probably got four or five of them. See, I put some right there. Look, they look nice. They're coming back. That's the thing. The first year you transplant something, it might not come back all that nicely. But, I mean, I'm sure it will eventually. And that right there, we have a lot of those. We just got them last year. Those are the butterfly pops. Oh, no, they're called the popsicle flowers, I think. So, hopefully, those all come up nicely. Those are really nice ones. And then these. I want to call these eucalyptus, but I don't know what it's really called. Maybe that is what it's called. I forget. That thing's coming out of the ground there almost. <laughs> There's a little speaker or speaker rock. And that over there, I showed you that before. It's coming back too. The blooming flower. That's what I like to call it because it's blooming. <laughs> but I think it's actually one of them popsicle plants as well. Look at that. The sun's starting to come out for us. Well, ain't that nice? That's nice, ain't it, Maya? Sure it is. <laughs> and our rose bush seems to be coming back too. The other ones, I don't know about them. The two new ones we got, they're a little bit different. They're a little smaller. But they don't seem to be coming back as nice. Look at that. <laughs> the tiny little lilac bush. This is like an offspring of our big lilac tree. Technically a bush, I would say. Not really a tree. But I call it a bush. Or a tree. I don't know. Whatever it is. <laughs> it's a cool little plant there. Lots of buds on it. It always comes early. Wow, look at that. Look at those buds. You really start to feel the spring in the air. We're going to be having fires on the weekend, I'm sure. That will be nice. All the grass now will come up eventually. Open the pool in another two months, basically. Yeah, two months exactly. And the pool will be open. <laughs> Ain't that something. It has felt like a long winter, though, to me at least. At first, I didn't think so. But we did get a lot of snow. I think that helped. Something's coming up in there. Sometimes it fools me. It's really just weeds coming up, and I think... It's plants. Now, I realize I can't keep stumps in the garden anymore. <laughs> I like to put stumps in the garden instead of rocks sometimes, just to fill in the gaps where plants can't really go. And I thought it looked nice, change of pace, but no, Maya doesn't like that. <laughs> she doesn't let me put that anymore. And these right here, the Easter lilies, they come up every single year. And I did a lot of moving the hostas around in here. The hostas I moved because they didn't come up as nice. I want to put some bigger bushes around here. And looks like I thought maybe these might not come up. I took the risk anyways, and look at that. They're back. <laughs> They're very small, though. That's why I like them. The big ones are cool, too, though. They're all nice. I really hope our friend Monty comes back this year. The muskrat. I haven't seen him, I think, since August. <laughs> look at that. You can kind of see the Bigfoot sign. Another thing we're going to be doing this year, hopefully I'll be able to make a video on it. I'm sure I will. Oh, instead of getting mulch, usually every single year for the last, who knows how long, we've been getting mulch. And then we put it in this new garden last year to help with the all the water that's going into the shed. So, hopefully, this year, as long as it doesn't cost too much, I'm sure it won't. Look at that, the bunnies chewing this little rose bush. That's what I was talking about earlier. But yeah, hopefully, assuming it don't cost too much, we're going to be able to... You get all the mulch. We're not really going to do anything with it. We're just going to put rocks over the mulch. And we'll make a nice rock. We'll find a good one. Probably a nice brown color rock, I think. Because I really like the brown contrast with the gray stones. I love the stone border. So I think that would be kind of cool. If we could do rocks where all the stuff... Or, yeah, rocks where all the mulch is right now. Because mulch is really annoying. Mine likes to chew it. And then she's going <laughs> to get a blockage one of these days from it. We're going to have to send it to the vet. So... I think it'll be cheaper <laughs> than paying all those vet bills to just get stone. And then we'll never have to worry about that again. Yeah, I think it'll look nice too and be a little more upscale. Let's go to the back, see what we can't find. 
bring you all down to the old pond. I got this good old stick I found in this pile and it just made me think that is a perfect tree knocking stick. I know it's a little short, but I mean, it don't matter. Uh -huh, got it. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can't do a good old fashioned tree knock. I know this isn't the right tree for it. <laughs> Probably because of course <laughs> The Bigfoot, that there are any out here, they'd definitely be out there. They wouldn't be here. I don't think it would travel the sound, it would travel far enough out there for them to hear. But who knows? Let's give it a shot and do a good old fashioned tree knock. Y'all hear anything? That was actually pretty good. <laughs> that sounded just like one that Buckaroo does. Buck's the best one doing the tree knocks, that's for sure. One more tree knock. That's pretty darn good, I must say. Get some bark flying off at that time. That was a pretty good tree knock. But yeah, we're going to be using this tree knocking stick for some firewood this weekend. <laughs> Look at that. Anything in the pond? Maybe is Monty in there and he's hiding and I just don't see him? I don't think so. Last summer was a great year for nature. I sure found or the springtime too. Sure, found a lot of cool stuff out here. The dog collar, it's still out there. That wasn't really nature, but still. <laughs> I think that leads to maybe a Bigfoot possibly being out there. You all know where there's dog collars. There's Sasquatches too. Got the old pipe. Another little lilac bush. <laughs> and big old wood pile, look at that. Put it back in. Uh oh, look at that. Poor little tree. I guess I don't really need a little stick anymore. It's all right. It's got it in there by itself pretty good. Anyways. I hear voices. Who the hell is that? that? I was really, I was really hoping we could get the drone out here, but, uh, yeah, if you guys don't know, the drone actually broke. <laughs> it's, well, it's not flying, so I don't know what to think. But hopefully it comes back to life soon. <laughs> um, but I am, I'm just gonna bring it in and get a new one they said so it shouldn't take too long like much longer than a month i would say now we'll get a new one and now i'll be settled we'll be able to have a drone and fly it out there so that'll be a lot of fun well, anyways thank you all for watching this quick little update video just wanted to show you that spring is coming in the air here in southern ontario let's throw this out see if we can't nah, didn't hit the chicken all right thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time on the mountain man hoorah going to catch the monsters